Welcome back. Traditional Ravnica draft time. 1500 Jemmy boys. We got some gutter bones. His name is actually gutter bones. Wow. His name is in death. We have a name. His name is gutter bones. <laughs> I think biogenic upgrades the pick. This card's pretty busted. I'll let you read it. Yeah, that seems pretty good. At the very least, it's plus six, plus six on three dudes. In total. Right. Hey, Mike, how's your back doing? Fine. <laughs> Fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, three, three, flying first strike for six. That makes their creatures neg one, neg oh. That's not terrible. That card's really good. Really good? Seems really good. We just took a biogenic upgrade. Do we really want to go three colors again? The problem is this leaves us only to be like Simic, basically. Um, I guess we could be Gruel and take like Scorch Mark. We could also be Bant because there's Azorius. I don't want to be three colors because I feel like it does kind of trap you. But I don't know. Maybe this card's good enough. It's also starting on two six drops, but I don't think there's really that many good cards in this pack to like. We could just take like, open the gates. I don't know, man. Magic's hard. More like open the grates. Open the grates? Mm -hmm. Why is it more like that? Because the, the grates are their big grates. They're very, uh, oh God. Very big This grates. is painful. I'm in pain right now. <laughs> Lots of pain. I'm in such pain I'm right like now. Guy or engineer. That seems decent. A one one for thrice that adds dose. Tower defense. Nope. It's your boy. I like thought collapse just because I like countering spells in this format. <laughs> I also like gateway plaza because we have this white card, but I think I'm just gonna go with the thought collapse here. How do you feel about that? Seems fine. All right. Cool. Dovin's Acuity. Nowhere near disinformation campaign. Slime Binding is pretty good. Wrestler's Admonition, I'm a kind of fan of. Just being able to bounce a guy on your turn and draw a card is nice. I think I'm just going to take Slime Binding, though. Slime they, Bind. They never expect... Ooh, Titanic Brawl is nice. I mean, I would like to see some decent Simic creatures because we're kind of going in on the Simic here. We'll get there. See? Right there. Where? The 6-6. Six, six. That's not really a Simic creature. It has Riot, so it's a Gruul creature, basically. But whatever. Seven. I don't even care about it. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's got Riot and Trample, man. It's 6-6-7. Six, six, I mean, so, look at this little cutie, though. Yeah, but who cares about that? Wow. I can also take the Guildgate to splash this as Aureus Skyguard. You could. I'm doing that. I don't care about these other cards. Really? I like mana. I like consistent. Look, there's another one. It's all coming up Millhouse now. Yeah, we could have just took a blue look, creature and a green creature. Look at all of the... Yeah, but they, they're they not great creatures. They can be great when you put counters on them. I'm not going to do that. Why not? No, man. Look, you just skipped a blue creature. I'm not going to take the bad blue creatures. They're not bad. They I'm taking this thought collapse. And block. What's the problem is... Uh, what they do is attack and protect. Wait, is that right? I don't know. You know what? I give up. There's many things they do. No, get over here. You're not staying in the main deck. You don't get to live in the big house. Wow. Infinite thought collapses. I don't know if we want to play three. That seems excessive. No, that's a good card, but it's not for us. You don't What's think we want to play egg do? It's not great. Return two permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand for oh, no, uh, not good. five Manus. Maybe in Commander. Even then, no. Yeah, there's just... Well, it is an instant, which is pretty strong. I think the instant part is, is nice. Look, you can instantly do nothing. Ooh. <laughs> Another Titanic Brawl, but, like, how many creatures do we have right now? Zero. Uh, we have one. Two. Hmm. And the second one we might not even play. No, we're playing it. We got Guild Gates. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Well, take a creature then, man. Take that 
that that guy that 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 guy you know the one are we just more one on the bun one on the bun the mike b story we could be as Arius. we don't have to be so yeah, i was thinking that too we'd have to get rid of we'll this lose and two cards this and three this cards three. but they're good cards just splash for them it's fine Is that a pig? That is a pig. You're a pig. Got him. Ooh, scam likely. No, thank you. Answer it. Let's answer it right now. Too late. I already. Hello? Know. Rampaging Rendhorn is an option. Yeah, I'm going to take the Rendhorn. Oh, Gruel Spellbreaker is nice. Being red is not nice. Oh, Swirling Torrent is utterly insane. This card is a bomb. You like bombs? I like bomb bombs. Oh, Gatebreaker Ram? All right, now we're getting somewhere. Now this this pack's picking up. You like bomb bombs? Mm -hmm. Like from Mario Brothers? What does that guy do? Uh, as long as for every gate you control, it gets plus one plus one. As long as you control two or more gates, it has vigilance and trample. Not bad. Uh, no, it's actually quite good. All right, we stayed the course, and I think we're getting. Uh, we're getting rewarded by these bots for it. I like Fairy Duelist. Rhythm of the Wild is also super ridiculous. But we're not red. Like, we're not. So just don't be an idiot. Just take the good card. I'm going to take the Fairy Duelist. That's a paragraph. <laughs> that's, well, that's some words. How is that enchantment still there? Because they're bots. Like, it's not, it's not a real It's not like they're not interacting with real people. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or a land card. Ooh, do you get to put it in your hand? Nope. Put it on top of your library. And that's why I'm like, yeah, this is crap. Yeah, that seems bad. Boar is fine. It's just a 2-2 two, two for two. That sometimes is better. I mean, this does mitigate your like sh your bad drops, but like putting the rest in the... Like, what if there's like two cards you want, you know? There's no timer on the picks. There should be. Filthy casuals. Wow. I'm going to take this Lizrog. What does that guy do? Oh, you know what the Liz the Frog Lizard does? Trample. Okay, that's pretty good. Guildgate was an easy pick there. Sky Tether is not bad. Sky Tether. Oh, another Simic Guildgate? Wow, this Gate Breaker is looking real good here. I also like Gross Spiral, though. Let's take the Guildgate. Apparently you don't like it that much. Apparently I don't. Wow, you're right. I didn't even think about that. Plus three, plus three. All right, sure. Another root snare? Sure. Ooh, crater hoof beam with boys. Oh yeah, that's the that's the tiny. Why does he cost eight though? Why does he cost the same as crater hoof with just a, a worse effect? I mean, it's not that much worse, right? It's a 7-7 seven, seven with Trample and Haste. Mm -hmm. It gives all your other guys plus 2, plus 2, Vigilance and Trample. Sure. Okay. If you have two other guys, Crater Hoof's only giving... Well, giving plus 3, plus 3, right? But Right. So it's giving plus 2, plus 2 instead, but it also has Vigilance. It gives the other guys Vigilance. It's kind of like a fixed Crater Hoof. It's also like if you have no other guys, it's still a 7-7 seven, seven Vigilance, Trample, Haste guy. That's true. So it's always going to block. I hope this Frilled Mystic comes back, but I don't know. I'm going to take this, this this 8 drop here. Um, Wow, Bedevil. This card's great. It's probably just Styrofoam Hybrid. What do we got for 4 drops? Literally no 4 drops? I think we just want more 2 drops, though. 2 drops are... Your second creature gets plus two, plus two. What does that mean? I don't know what you're saying right now. Fairy Duelist is good. I'll take a Fairy Duelist. Do we really need another Guild Gate? Probably not. It makes this Gatebreaker Ram good. So but Devil's an easy splash? I don't know. Splashing two colors seems like pretty hard splash to me. That sounds. I mean, that might sound crazy, but it 
Let's see if we can get our fairy duelist. What does the duelist do? Uh, it's flash flyer for one. It's a one two. When it enters the battlefield, target creature gets negative two negative until end of turn. It makes okay. combat real hard. Oh, well, there's another guild gate anyway. Seems good. Lots of decent stuff here. I like gateway sneak actually because we can probably get at least one more guild gate. You have no cheap creatures? What? We have two hybrids. We have a territorial boar. We have double fairy duelist. We have a gatebreaker ram, a guy engineer. Like, I mean, we have like seven creatures before turn three. That doesn't seem accurate. Oh, rubble slinger is actually fine. Two, three reach. Sure. But he's gruel. No, he green. She green. But gruel. Are you? You're betraying your color scheme. Are you broken? Yes. <laughs> Emotionally. Sage's Rosamont is fine. Oh, Azorius. Nice. You can also take this other Steeple Creeper or the Slime Bind. What do you think? I like Creechy. I mean, I want to get to a point where we don't actually have to run that many planes like one white plane, one white source. I think Steeple Creeper is actually good. That's fine. We'll take a Creeper. Oh, it's in a Guild Gate again. Okay. Another Fairy Duelist? My God. My God. My God. In the middle of a street. <laughs> My God. Any street? Any street? Any street. Oh, the Frilled Mystic came back? Hey. Oh, wow. Somebody up there likes me. Up there in Renton. JK didn't like me. Just kidding. Oh, another creeper, sure. You got a reward. Claim my prize. All right, so we have 42 cards. We need two cuts. Also, someone said you can't see the curve very well, but if you click on this up here, you get to see the curve a lot better. It's pretty easy to see the curve when you do this. I do wish I could make these smaller. Hmm. I'm going to take the boar out. Probably take out one of these three drops, like probably one of the thought collapses. I think this is pretty good. How many creatures do we got here? 17? Done. Dunzo McBunzo. I like one plane. So it gives us three white sources for two white cards. And then force them at guild gates. Woof, this is guild, guild gate. That's 11 up. sources of blue. We could probably cut one source of blue. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Probably Four, add one point. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, ten, four seems better, actually. I just want to make sure we can hit on Mystic when we have it. What? No, I wanted to add another one. How do... <laughs> All right, I'll just go over here and do it. Six? Six seems like a lot, though. Three, four, ten. Yeah, we could probably cut one. Maybe it is one planes, but I don't like five sources of white for two white cards, though. Why not? Because if you draw any of your planes, you just can't cast Frilled Mystic on four. I actually kind of like the extra island. I think it's actually island. The reason being that we also have double blue on turn two in the form of Thought Collapse. We only need one green up until turn, like, six or seven or eight. I think this is fine. We'll find out. Did 
There's two big old dudes in front. What are you saying right now? Are you drunk? What's going on right now? Oh, you know. Oh, no, you don't. No, no one knows anything. If something's happening to do with you, I have no idea. 21 Bizarro. That's my rap name. Well, I guess you're playing against yourself then. What a twist. I think this hand's pretty good. One land and we get the Gatebreaker or Geyer. That's a good one. That is a turn three, four, four here. You ready for this? I'm waiting. It's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be incredible. Oh. Lucky, 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 lucky. That was for us, I guess. I thought they were gonna counter it. I preemptively was ready for the quench. Man, so they didn't have it. The saltiness for the counters is so high. Was it saltiness? I was just actually. Oh wow! Now he becomes a five-five. And we get to play Engineer, and we get to keep up Filled Mystic next turn. Oh boy. You counter this guy now? Guess that's fine. Green, green, blue, blue. Nice. Okay. We trade for both of these. Maybe. Seems fine to me. Yeah, I didn't think they'd block because we have five mana up. So I'm just gonna keep up Frilled Mystic. So I would do. Yeah. Like we can play five five here, but like this is an easy block. They have to actually do something. So. This isn't a ram, it's a sheep. Can you guys... You guys are being a real speciesist. Species, speciesist? Racist speciesist? They didn't attack. Surprise, surprise. You gonna go five? You got two for... You got two for here? Wow, you're just gonna go... You're literally going to five? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, well. Okay, well, why didn't they just double block? Like, they have options here. All we had to do was play that one, that dude, and that's it? That's the end? This has been a, this is a, that was a weird game. They're like, whatever, I know you have something. I'm not even going to try to deal with it. Yeah, that was bizarre. Well, they are 21 Bizarre, so. You're right. Well, Bizarro, 21 Bizarro. All right, me and Ollie are recording a new freshly brewed tomorrow at noon. Um, I don't hate this hand. I know we're gonna draw a thousand lands, but you know what? It's a price you gotta pay sometimes, you know? Not really, that's what Mulligans are for. <laughs> whatever, Michael. Sh whatever, Michael. Shway. Did you guys know that I found Mike uh, in a river and that was how we became friends he was down uh, in the stream trying to swim upstream and I saved him he was down in the river trying to s swim upstream wow and I saved you you're welcome thank you you're welcome okay well rats off to you You know what you're playing, right? Oh, that guy's frustrating. Oh, we got a gift of strength, though. Give me a gift. Give me a gift! Is that why Mike's nickname is Old Man Ur? Yeah, it's also why he makes these frog noises, because there are things he remembers from his, his youth, you know?
If we play upgrade on these two guys, then we galloping Lizrog the six counters. That seems pretty nuts, right? Seems okay. I guess we're one mana shy of doing all that, all that jazz. Aggressive. Well, I'm pretty sure like we block next turn, we take five, and if they spend their turn adapting, it's like, okay, whatever. It's like, whatever. Meanwhile, we can just pump both these guys in this eight in the air, so. I'll just block here. Again, if you want to spend your turn using a trick, it's fine. Yep, that is fine. Goodbye, Lizrog. I hardly knew you. But now, like, 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 like I have two, I have eight power on the board. So, like, what was their goal oh, there? Oh wow! Like, <laughs> all right. Whoopsie poopsie. Was that a pewds? Maybe. That's totally pewds. All right, let's. We're we're one win more than we were last draft, which is good. That's a good. Oh, you mean like an actual win? Yeah, we got one. What's the alternative? Zero wins. Huh. Huh. Well, no, but what's the alternative from an actual win? A loss. But isn't that isn't a, just isn't just a win? The opposite, not an actual win. A window. This hand's pretty bad. I agree. This hand's worse. It's if we can hit a green source, I think it's good. There's just some guild to get on top. Are you ready? Nope, you ain't it. You're not what we're looking for here. But here you are. Here's a Simic guild gate. It's gonna be right here. It's gonna be great. Are you ready for it? Okay. Meow. I'm gonna use some eye drops now, guys. You guys ready? It's not. It's not gonna be Mio. Are you sure? I just missed my eye. That's the worst. Hey, we found a green source. It's like our deck just became very, very good all of a sudden. Oh, I got it. Oh my god, that's two I just missed. Sometimes you have off days and you're like, I, I didn't hit my eye once. My big problem with this cat is that like, you just want to throw like your cheapest creature in front of it because there's, you're not going to get around them death touching one of your guys. I kind of like just playing this guy here. Yeah, that seems good. Next turn it gives us five, so we can play this. If we draw another land, we can play this and keep up Thought Collapse. No, not... Well, we could if, if it's a... Yeah, we could if we hit a land. By squirting directly into the pupil? I feel, I feel like that was the goal. All right, here we go. Let's see how this... Oh, well, I don't know how anyone ever takes eye drops. I can never do it. Really? Why? Because I always close my eye before it hits... He closes his eyes. Wow. What do you think, 5-5 five, five or a hasty boy? 5-5. Five, five. We can attack right now. Yeah, but 5 attack, 4 attack, and Chungus kills him. Chungus? Yeah. Who's Chungus? Oh, wait, I guess haste would still kill him in the same amount of turns because we get to attack this turn. Do you don't know how haste works? Got him. He's gonna have something that deals and four Chungus damage. kills him. That's good. <laughs> yep, this is something. These car, these these cats are pretty obnoxious. See now, if we had a five five, to you. I still think we just throw this guy away. And I originally told you to go for the Chungus, but you went with the haste, like an amateur. So how does that get bigger? It's a 1-2, right? How is it going to kill our guy? It gets a death touch. 
Oh. So, whatever. It seems terrible. What? This trade for you. For it you. is, but like, they're just going to wait and trade with this guy instead, you know, so. Make sure you leave a counter spell. I am. Don't tell me what to do. There be a chunga no longer, no longer a chungus among us. Nope. Actually, do I even care about that? I don't care about that. That's a literal blank 3-3. Three, three. Sure. This guy's nice because in the future we can pump and still keep up counter spells, so. How you doing over there? Fine. Are you doing fine though? See that I'm gonna counter because two blockers is is worse for us. Oh my god, what did we just hit there? We hit consign and a second ill gotten inheritance? Wow. That seems good. Well, that was an unfortunate draw, but it still pumps this guy. I guess we could just play both of these, right? What if he's got Wrath of God? Oh, he actually could. Is there a Wrath in this set? Oh, wow. They did not... There is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just going to play this guy. There's the black, black, white, white wrath that you gain life equals the number of creatures that you lost when it dies. Okay, well, they don't have it here, clearly. Only for a moment. So if you block here, you take five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you block here and kill this, you take five. Just attack with everybody. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, actually. Even the 1-1. One, one. If they block the 1-1 one, one and kill this, they still take 8. So they can't actually block this guy. Oh. Okay. Well, that was fascinating. And by ram, you mean sheep, because it is not a ram. It is a sheep. Can you get ready for game 2? Uh, yeah. Let me go change my pants. Why would you have to... Because it's oiled them. Huh. Yeah. It's awkward for everybody. Yeah. I'm going to take one duelist that one, bring it exposed to daylight. And that's probably fine. One exposed is fine. Isn't a ram a male sheep? I don't know. But then, then you're just, you're just, I don't want to, I don't want to make the assuming it's a gender joke, but that is literally what you're doing in this situation. This is fine. This guy's a scryer. And we're going to draw Zorius Gilgate, remember? You did. It's pretty good. Only for a moment and that Michael. Fairy Duelist is actually great against these Panthers. see what we got here. I don't care about you. I also just want to hit lands. I can put both these on the bum. They call it popping the panther. No one calls it that. Nope. Definitely not. Uh, very aggressive. No block? No, I'm not going to trade with one. We fairy duelist make it no power. Make it no power. We can make it no power. Ah, uh, the classic no block, no attack trick. It's a good one. It's a good one. But now we're going to block, you see. And last turn we couldn't attack because it just came into play. Resident Evil 2 Remake is twice the length of, I assume this says, the original? Oh my god. Let's 
See, now we get to kill this guy and still keep our 2-1. That's a good deal. That's a good deal, Ace. You're just going to eat your own panther? Wow. Huh. Huh. Well, I'll be. Oh, wow. That was a great draw. 5-5. Five, five. If we draw a gate, we can Titanic Brawl kill this guy. What a deal. That's a plus one, minus one thing? It sure is. Expose the daylight. I hit the mic. I'm sorry if that was loud. We are good at this game. Wow. Oh, uh, slime bind is not terrible. How much land is we have? Four. We can go slime bind brawl next turn. Actually, that's pretty good. We'll keep that. And now it's gone forever. I mean, we could actually take five, like another five here. Target creature you control. gonna hold this guy back because if they have a removal spell I don't really want to die to I guess we're gonna slime bind it so it's not really relevant oh it's obnoxious Good deals. Yep, that was pretty cool. Nine ya. Nine ya business. Nine ya. All right, there are three, so we have two lethal dudes on board. So they have to play a guy, and I don't think they're in a position to block. Or to... To not block, rather. Yeah, that's pretty cute. I'm probably just blocking this. I don't really feel like going to two here. They go to six, right? So they still have to block. Yeah, this is fine. I'm just not. A, I'm not in a position to. No, one man away from that. Dang. I guess there's no point of attacking with this guy. And this guy has reach, so I'm probably just gonna play this. Like again, I don't really wanna go to two and have them be like, consign, kill your guy. I guess if they have consign, they kill this guy and attack us for three and then we're dead. And then, then there are one. That's real sad. And we actually should have played. We should have actually not blocked. If we didn't block, um, they're at six. So they actually have to block here and take five and go to one. If they block here, they take six. And they would have died. Yep, that's fine. Having vigilance is obnoxious. So let's see what we can do here. They can go block, block, take two, and then they die. So they're just dead here, right? If we don't... Yeah, we just no block them and they're dead. Yeah, that would have been good too, but let's just. This is the last turn, so. Right. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not mess around here. Victory!
Look at that. You got a hundred buckaroos in a card. You think it's going to be good? Take a vote on, on what you think the rarity is going to be. What, the rarity? Yeah. Common. It's going to be uncommon, I think. They're very, they're very frequently uncommons. Rare is too good, and common makes you feel like you won nothing. Really? Because uncommons make me feel like I won nothing. I, <laughs> right, but they, they, they don't believe that. They want to think like, no, no, he, you won an uncommon, man. You can put that in your competitive constructed deck. No. No, you can't. Exactly. I'm not going to do that. You're no playing against Bliss. That. Would you like to play first or draw first? Yes, I would. Oh, uh, this hand seems fine, actually. Do you see how? Do you see how good the uh, the Gatebreaker Ram? Is it literally called a Ram? Is Ram in the name? And I was giving people a hard time for calling it a Ram. I don't know. Wow, that's unbelievable. Ram is in the name. Hmm. Boy, I'm a I'm a dummy. So it's ram in the name, but sheep in the creature type. I want to, I want a ram in the name and a sheep in the creature type. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times, man. Good times. Actually, we can probably play this. We don't have to give up thought collapse just yet. Wow, that's awkward, isn't it? Oh. That's a good one. Well, we mistakes were made. Yeah, that would have been pretty good to counterspell. You're right. It's okay. We still got this. They probably don't have any creatures is really why they played it. Oh, they didn't play anything. I like it. I am also a fan of it. I'm just going to keep running out guild gates here. Because if we hit another land, we have one, two, three, four, five. Well, we have six. I want to keep this up now. Yep, that's got to go. All right, now we can just play things, which is good. I like just playing things. What do we hit? Rubble Slinger and two forests. I'm sorry, what? Oh. Wow, you're good at this game. No one reads the uh, the uh, the you can't be countered part in the limited. In before ten people decide to tell me that it can't they can't be countered. Yeah, that card's insane. Yeah, like the 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 creature spells you control can't be countered is super super like. It's kind of obscure and limited. Yep, we're basically taking eight here. Yeah, this is pretty bonkers. I mean, if we draw a biogenic genesis or whatever, well, actually, any, any, anything they play has has haste, so I think we're pretty dead here. A third wow. one. So it's fair to say we lost that one card, right? Like, it's not... Pretty fair to say we lost to uh, Rhythm. Yeah. God, I got so. I guess we now have something to counter. All I had to do is not play the rubble belt, buddy. Come on, rubble belt, buddy. It's my rubble belt, buddy.
This guy's really taking his time sideboarding here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. You had me at turn two guy and ram. God, it is ram. It has ram in the title. And I was like, why are you guys calling it a ram? It's a sheep. What an idiot. What an absolute dummy. What a freaking moron. What an absolute boner. I'm afraid to like let the shields down now and be honest with you. And then if they play something stupid on three, I'm gonna feel even worse. Do we just let go? We just do it? Yeah, alright. Oh god. Please try to play it. Please play it right. Please have it. Have it and play it. That's all I want you to do. Yes! Oh, the value. Everything is turning up. Oh, wow. We hit a skewer the critics and a boar. All right, that's not. Drop you as a, as a quattro, quattro. And then we get this guy next turn and attack for 10. Everything's coming up correctly. I'm not sure if everyone has ram in the name. Also, creature spells can't be countered. <laughs> I was not aware of these things, so I do appreciate the input. Philip, thank you. You're the hero this stream needs. Not the one it deserves, though. That's for sure. That's for true. Are you okay? You're grooming yourself? Yeah, I'm grooming myself. How's that working out for you? It's okay. It's okay. What do you think? 5-5? Five, five? Yeah. If we attack and they trade, I don't think it's great. Because they can't pump this guy for two turns. The next turn we have a 6-6 six, six as well. And if we draw any guild gate, this guy just gets bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're at a no attack. I think we're at a no attack phase. Please acknowledge that a ram is a male sheep. A, a ram is a male sheep, chat. Is this the same list? Yeah, it's the same list. Only in draft. It's a good draft deck. That would, yeah, it's not bad. Please acknowledge lethal. <laughs> I like that Billy capitalized the L in lethal. It's that important. You okay? How you doing over here? Just getting a little scratchy in. A little... Are you scratching your back on the chair like a yeah. fucking ba like a like a, like a black bear? Yeah, <laughs> I can't reach it with my hand. This man. is my tree trunk. It's <laughs> amazing. Oh, don't Lord. judge. I would never judge you. I mean, no, nah, I would. Let's trade with this five five. That's a good deal. Oh, you didn't want to do that. All right, so you can just take two. We'll keep up frilled mystic. And, uh, and if we don't have to counter anything, we can pump a lump. Pump a lump. Get up, get up, and get down. Pump a lump. Is that how that song goes? I don't know. The correct response is, I don't think that's how any song goes. Hmm. Ask my Beavis, you going to steal some picnic baskets later. Are you going to steal picnic baskets later? Yes. I'm going to get me some uh, picnic baskets. That's from Yogi Bear. Did you know that? Good talk. Uh, That's from Yogi Bear. <laughs> I mean, it is literally from Yogi Bear himself. It's not like it's... Oh, they're probably just going to Scorch Mark. Do we get a Scorch Mark? Oh, no, but we know they have that. Oh, they're just waiting for us to pump so they can Scorch Mark. This is a real... Uh, Oh no. Never. So now they can scorch mark this. Actually, if they had scorch mark, they would have blocked, and in response to us pumping, they would have done it. Done that's, it? That's an insane draw. Kind of.
Why are those creatures pulsating? Um, <laughs> you know, I don't know, actually. Trample? I think it's trample. I mean, if they do have Scorch Mark, it's pretty bad. But I mean, like, it's still a two-for-one, and they're still losing their guys, so. And they, they don't get to kill this. That's worse. That's, that seems to be, like, what they had, I guess. Well, shucks. Well, that was unfortunate. What are the odds they still have good things in their hand? They don't have two cards left, right? Yeah. It's weird that it highlights it when you highlight it. What do you mean? Go watch. If you don't do anything, when he's touching stuff, it'll highlight it. That is weird. I feel like that gives away information. I feel like it not only gives away information, but you don't see it on your end, right? So, like, I could just do this, and are they seeing that? I think so. Like, all of these are just lighting up one after the other? Hmm. Man, can you be how steeple creeper would be so good right now? We can just attack for four in the air every turn. Instead we just have a little one two. Yeah, they see it. Yeah. They see it. Someone actually asked me to turn the ambient volume down because it was drowning things out. Maybe that's true. Let me see if that's better. Let me know if that's better for you guys in the chat. Actually I could probably just drop the master volume, right? They have Scorch Mark, it's gonna suck. If they drew Scorch Mark, it's gonna suck. Don't be this card. This bubbling is nice. Does this keep bubbling until they resolve it? Because that's hilarious. Apparently. Come on, buddy. I have one mana up. I don't know why this is so hard. Okay, for five, sure. And you get to play a four drop. Great. Yep, seriously hope they Man, didn't that. Man, that was some intense boot blops. I feel like we're in such a great shape and now I don't know what happened. Things have uh, gone off the rails, as they say. That was indeed some intense boot blops, though. The blue blobs are strong that day. One, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've drawn two more lands. That's cool. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Don't forget the blobs. Don't be just a blooper. You want to be a blooper and a blopper. That's how you sound. Oh, that's actually very good. Oh, it's your it's boy. It's actually super relevant. Yeah, it's actually really relevant. Wow. Flyer. And all their dudes are tinier. It's also over at 20, so we've got time. That wasn't the whole song, okay? All right, fine. God, take it easy. Take your blue blops and relax. I feel like they could have been more aggressive towards us. One sheep is a ram and creatures can't be countered, Buck. Wow. What does this guy do? It can't be blocked by creature tokens. All right, sure. What did you say? You feel like what? They could have been a more aggressive this game. I agree with you. And I'm actually, I feel like we've gotten away with a lot because they haven't been. Mm. 
Nothing with reach, right? Nope. Can we draw the boar? Oh my god, let's just draw our 8 drop that gives us plus 2, plus 2, and trample, and haste. They will die. They will- oh my god. That's super relevant. God, it never ends. It never ends, Michael. Oh, that's actually pretty good. We don't have a 5-5 five five, though, unfortunately. We have a 4-4. Four four. Mm, we can also just attack with a 3-2 into this guy. I feel like just keeping this up is probably pretty strong here. Okay, block- if we attack with a 3-3, three three, they just block with a 2-5 and nothing happens. Right, but then we get to kill it because it will have three damage on it. Oh, if you fight it afterwards. Correct. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. I still don't think it's worth it doing now. Like, we have time. Was that a little farty boy? Were you a little farty boy? Did you no. make a little noise? Did you, make, did you make a little toot? Maybe I made a noise. Who knows? Hey, that's pretty good. Well, pretty sure that's the game. We're at 20, is it though? Well, let's see, seven. I have utterly no idea, actually. Let's, see. let's just find out. I guess we'll find out. They all get vigilance till end of turn, right? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So what is this? This is 20 right here. So they have 28. So we have to block 9 points. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We literally, we have to block with literally everything. Well, you can start with the... Concede button. And you can end with the concede button. Yep, that was what's known as a good time. That was a good draw. Wait, so is that it? No, wait, that's our first loss. That was right? our first loss. Okay. Oh, man. Magic's a fun game. Sometimes we're like, hey, can we draw the end raise forerunners? And they're like, I hey, I got you covered. Hold you didn't specify what player was yeah. going to draw it. Our opponent was like, hold my beer. And I'm like, okay, I guess you got me. Uh, this hand's good. If we can draw one more gate. Ooh, we have six gates in our deck. This card is bought. This card's. I feel like this card is actually busted. I think it's just fine. It's vigilance, so you can't hit it with like seal away or you know the 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 three slash five damage spell. Uh, it's trample. It scales very very well. It costs three mana for like an eight eight against me and constructed. It's just not. This guy have haste, milady. All right. Oh, here we go. Now we're now we're doing it. Now we're cooking with hot oil. <laughs> <laughs> It's gas, you idiot. No, we're cooking with hot oil. That guy took his time. He was like, eh. Okay. This dude looks like he'd be the most obnoxious dude ever. Well, he's named the Street Dodger. Well, it's the Tin Street Dodger. What? Tin Street is the name of the street. He's not dodging the street. He's not a street dodger. He's a Tin Street Dodger, which means Isn't a dodger. Is his name literally the Street Dodger? No, Tin Street Dodger. Tin oh, Street is a, tin. a literally place in Ravnica. I feel like you should actually know that. No, I know that. I just didn't know that his first name was Tin. I just, I just read the... I didn't know his name was Tin. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Ooh, boy. It would be Tin the Street Dodger. Uh, my name is Tin the Street Dodger. All right, we're going to hope you don't have three mana Rhythm of the Wild because you didn't play it last turn, so. And we can't get Scorched Mark here, so it's okay. We do get Skewered if they have it, but that's a risk I'll take, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I didn't know his name was Tin. 
You got it. This is where they get through for one, and then they play skewer for one mana and kill our gatebreaker ram. Are you ready? Okay, that ain't it. I don't care about that. Good thing there are no streets in your deck. That's a good point, actually. Keeping up that Thought Collapse. And then next time we can untap Thought Collapse and Titanic Brawl. Get out of town. Get out of town, Charlie Br -br Brown. <laughs> <laughs> you got me with the stuttering brown there. That was nice. The stuttering brown is also the name of my jazz club. <laughs> the stuttering brown. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's on Tin Street. I didn't know his name was Tin. Oh, look at this. B. Aggressive. B. E. Aggressive. The Stuttering Brown. Hunter's poor. Oh my god. Not okay. Look at this. I'm gonna block and then they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. A heckin' trick. And then we're gonna do them a counter. And then I'm gonna make you put your trash in the trash can where it belongs. Ooh, two swamps. Interesting. Yep, that was a blowout. How are you enjoying the MTG right now? I, mean, I think it's fine. Oh, there's a there's your boy. He'll be dead before we play it. You know what, Michael? Maybe you're right. Actually, we could have also fought and kept Counterspell up. I think that probably would have been better, but... I don't think it matters. We're going to put both of these guys... They're going to draw this guy next turn, and we're going to just put this guy back in their hand or something. Oh, and they're just going to be dead. Yeah, the game just ended, actually, so... This card is so ridiculous. Yeah, I think we're fine. I don't think we need to board anything yeah. in here. Yeah. Are you a trash can or a trash can't, Michael? Neither. Trash can it is. Wow. Got him. Which one's worse? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I actually have no idea. This seems like a keeper. Yeah, I'm alright with it. You mean a steeple keeper? No, I don't. Well, that's unfortunate because I think it would have been. It would have been choice meme there, but. Oh man, look, there's a D man and then there's a D man. Wow. Two demon? There's too too many demons. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not funny. You laughed, so I say it is funny. I guess that's true. Shit. That's a good point, man. Shit. You based how funny it was on the most natural way to determine how funny something is. Yeah. Biscuits. Got good aggro. Aren't we all? Oh, because of the counter? I was like, why did he do that? So now you can attack and pump and still get through for three? If I just block, is it like a two for one? 
Can I just block this guy? You know what? Sure, man. Oh! So you just literally threw this guy away so you could deal an extra... I don't know what's happening right now. This is all very strange. He doesn't have Vigilance or Trample yet. We don't have two gates, unfortunately. But I think that's still fine. This is just a card I don't want to throw. I don't. I never want to trade with with this because it's always going to get just progressively better as the game goes on. I tested all my jokes here so I can get a response on the Franco meter. That's a good. That's a solid strategy. And if if you get Mike, then it's a twofer, and you get an audience of a very critical audience of two. If they have plus three, plus three, and pump, oh well, now they don't because they just use all the forestos. If we draw a land, we can go adapt to this guy and then biogenic upgrade all of our dudes, and it's just gonna be. This guy's gonna get four counters, and then like one more from this, which is five, and then it's gonna double, so it's gonna be ten counters. And they're basically dead. We didn't we didn't draw though. So. We didn't draw though. I feel like we're ahead, but they're still at 19, and it's kind of weird. Oh, get that lensing micromodal. It's actually super comfortable. And, uh... Alright, let's see what happens here. I guess we could attack the Rubble Slinger, too, because if they block anywhere, it's just more damage. Whatever, you know I'm going to do this. Oh, maybe that's why they blocked. Alright. Why did we... Oh, because this guy? Wow. Yeah. That card's very strong. Does this guy have Trample? No. Can they get Trample? No? Okay. Wait, what? And it has Trample, so next turn we can double the number of counters on it. Do you know, you know what that's like? They're just going to scoop. They could. They are welcome to do so. Yeah, but I want to see this hype. I do too, but it's never happening because we have an 11-11 trampler on board. Turns out that's enough. <sighs> Turns out that is enough. What's this guy? What's the rarity, Michael? Common. No, we learned nothing. I want it to be a common, though. <laughs> Why do you want it to be a common? Because F you, that's why. Wow, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but got him. Who did you get? You. How did you get me? I don't know, man. Are you drunk right now? I wish. What? <laughs> you could be. Ain't nobody stopping you. Yeah, uh, then I have to get a drink and... That's a whole lot of stuff. It's a whole to-do. The only alcohol we have in the house is, like, is the expensive alcohol and I, I don't want to save it. That means we'll probably never drink it, and it'll just sit there forever and do nothing. Well, I mean, that's your whole life, right? Sitting there and doing nothing? Wow. So, I don't care about Duelist here. I'd rather just have three drops. But I also like playing this guy and then following it up with a gate, because obvious reasons. But if they don't have anything, we just get to deal some damage and get some cards going, so... Okay. What Mike is saying is that he's too lazy to be an alcoholic. Small victories, I guess. <laughs> well, you know, cross your finger. Uh, thank the... Cross the things that you thank and stuff. Thank the cross the fingers, Lord. <laughs> I always thank the cross the fingers, Lord. Oh, they're just gonna make two one ones. Well, that seems just fine. Oh, we get to draw a card here? Oh my god. It's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. Oh Boo. my god, just please. 
<laughs> what, man, you don't like that? <laughs> no one likes that. You don't like it when daddy does that? How good is this card against our 1 1s? Pretty good, okay. I'd say. You might say it's the best. He's too he's too lazy to be an alcoholic. Thank goodness. You might say it's the best. Mm, no blokes. Oh, we can also just swirling torrent put this and one of these back on top. Well, that's not how tokens work, but Well, right, but put this on top of their library and then return this to their hand. We could do that. But I wish I just think we should wait till we have a bigger threat out. We can also get to draw a card by doing that, and then they just have to replay their last turn. I think it puts us really far ahead. Then do it. See if because otherwise they're attacking with a three three, and this oh, guy becomes six a mana for that. Oh wait, we the tappy guy. There you go. You figured it out. Put the put on top of Toner's library. You return you to the hand. Like, them just having to redraw that card and replay that last turn. <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah. What What was the context of that? It was when I did the, uh... I don't know, man, but I did say it. I didn't hear you say that, and it's probably for the best, I'll be honest with you. Okay, we can probably do like a thousand things here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try to hit a land. Because eight mana is better when we have Azoria Skyguard and Fairy Duelist. Oh, well, we nailed it, but not the right way. Nailed it. Just play the stupid big guy. So it's probably pretty good, I guess. If they have one rule spell, though, we take one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not great. Like, I don't really want to go to seven here. I think it's just safer to play, like, two, two and keep up. We can actually play two, two, and, and, and Sadro and keep up Duelist. Oh, yeah, for sure. Could have made it unblockable, but... You know what? Everything's fine. Yeah, because they're going to be reluctant to attack here because we can just easily block it. At least I think so. God, I can't believe you said that because I didn't hear it. It's okay. You'll hear it next time. I don't want there to be a next time. Okay, this is fine. Look at your top things. Oh, how nice. Yep. Resolve that. Your trigger goes in the stack. We'll activate you to play Fairy Duelist. Should have played it after, I guess. But making this guy an O2 for the turn is just fine. Yeah, and if we actually... Eh, you know what? Fine. We should have actually let, let this resolve, used the two mana to play Duelist, but I think it's still fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Also, keep up another Duelist and keep up Frilled Mystic, I believe. Green, green, blue, blue. Yeah, we can do that. If you block here, I'm totally pumping, so. Fascinating. Right. Whatever. LASIK ear surgery? Is that a thing? I'll get my whole life lasered. Welcome to life laser. We laser all your body. Wow. I can spit this piece of ice at you. You could. Shove Jr., thank you so much for the reset. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. But then it would just get on the floor. Hmm. 
You don't want that. Well, eventually ice melts and, melts and there's no evidence. So that's nice. That's the nice thing about ice. That's why it's the perfect murder weapon. That's why, I, yeah, you could stab someone with an icicle and then the evidence melts. You know, other than the dead body. You guys want to see a dead body? <laughs> that's when you know the party's popping off. Is that when you know? Yeah. Hmm. Are they double blocking here? Are they letting me eat this guy? No, that's pretty good. I'm just going to eat all your things, I guess. I want to keep up Slime Bind, and I also want to keep up Mystic, so I think we're just passing here. Michael B is in the house tonight. So what was the quote again? Just to be clear, Michael said, uh, you don't <laughs> like when your dad, when daddy does that. <laughs> I'm trying to think about what you could have possibly said. <laughs> what I could have said to provoke that response out of you. I was making weird noises. That's all I remember. That sounds about right. Oh, wow. It's your boy. Yeah. We don't have quite enough mana for that yet. Quite the enough mana. Get in there, you old... You old so-and-so. Okay. He's just gonna keep blocking. I don't understand. Runs out of creatures. <laughs> uh, all right, so this will be a seven-seven. I don't really want to counter that. I was just tricky. It. The duelist or the yeah. frilled mystic? I don't want to waste the counter. I the duelist. I guess duelist could be good here. It just makes it does like it doesn't kill his guy, but it just makes it useless. <laughs> They also only have two cards in hand, so like, if they play another spell to try to get this through, like, we're just going to make it, like, negative six this turn. Counter target activated, or, well, that does do a thing. Wow. Repudiate, the card I shit all over, is, uh... Alright, I didn't want to have to do that, but now you forced my hand, so... Guess you got me. If one card, six, seven, watch, it's going to be seven drop, and we're going to wish we could have countered it. I'm going to feel so bad about our life choices here. Okay, they did nothing. Oh, this guy gets unblockable now? Oh, boy. This game has just ended, I believe. Because we get to draw a card, so the odds of us hitting a land within the next two draws is pretty high. And uh, we get to keep up counter spell for anything they do next turn. And we're probably going to be able to just play this guy next turn and live the dream. They're going to concede before we ever attack and deal the damage, but nonetheless. Yep, there you go. Never fails. Yeah, they conceded when we didn't even have lethal. We had it. That was yeah. only game one? Yep. That was exhausting. I think we're good. I like our deck. As a benefit of your TransUnion monitoring membership, this is a notification that there have been no reported changes in your credit files during the last 30 days. Thanks. I don't like it when daddy does that either. <laughs> oh, they went to six on the play? How do they win? Huh. Why do you have to put every microphone up against your head? What are you talking about? Oh, boy. Yeah, Beastmaster. Because that's what daddy likes. <laughs> huh. So we can actually go turn through Rollmaster, turn for Frilled Mystic. I guess that's good. They did nothing. If they play Rhythm of the Wild, I swear I'm gonna I'm gonna rage. I'm it a, was the Rhythm of the I'm Wild. A, I'm gonna exp explode. Whoa! Here it comes. That's, oh, okay. That's, I do not care. I 
I would have totally tried to get him for two damage there. Um. No. Well, because then our guys tapped, and then they get they get in for two damage. Ooh, that's a good one to have. Yeah, but we attack first, so we win the race. No, th they block ours first, and they attack first. Yeah, but if you have all the open mana, they're not going to block, right? Oh, maybe that's true. Maybe they don't block. Yeah. They do block. You look like a sucker, though. Because Daddy likes putting mics against... Mike likes putting mics against Mike's head. Uh, pass. This is aggressive. All right, I'll block one of your little shit birds. Pass. Okay, you dealt three. Trade a goblin for three damage? Yep, that's that's what we were saving this for. Take action. And now we can actually put this on top and then bounce this guy just like we did last time. Choose both. This card is so strong. Um you go on top, you go to hand. Attack for five, and then next turn we can biogenic upgrade. Yikes. And then the following turn, after we attack, we can Lizrog and steal all the counters back. Which is going to be like six counters. Which makes him a, what? 15-15? Yep. Hey, but I'm still watching YouTube vids and I'm months behind. I was wondering, how does Frilled Mystic stack up against Mystic Snake and another snake? Um... I actually have a modern deck that my friend Nick sent me that DCM Dave, a friend of his, and a streamer as well, so you should check him out, um, made with four Mystic Snakes and four Frilled Mystics in it, so it's kind of funny. One, two, wait, no, one, two, wait. Three plus one plus one counters. Okay, those are the, these are the creatures. And then we're going to put an extra one on here because your toughness... Wait, how... How do we get four? Wait, what? Oh, okay, because it's not going to let me submit. That's weird. That's a yikes for me, dog. Wow. Take 11, I guess. If you must. Hi, Mike. Nice haircut. I love to wash your hair. Oh, God. Spots here. You're so weird, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Are we at four wins? What's it going to be? What's the rarity, man? Come on. Come on. Common. Michael, it's never common. God. Why do you do this? I want it to be, though. All right. We got one more win. We can do this. We can do this. We went from 0-2. Oh, we time, too. 7 o'clock. Oh, that's perfect. We went from 0-2 last draft. To five. Oh, we lost the match. Don't tell anybody. I'll never do that. Do you know why? No. No, 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 no. Because no. Daddy doesn't like it when you lose a match. Yeah, I got to do laundry today. Don't tattletale on people. Daddy doesn't like that. Oh, God. Did you just keep this? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this hand's great, actually. One more green source and we can frill Mystic. We got a two drop and a three drop. I hate, I hate playing new matches because I'm like, oh, I got so used to my last opponent's deck. Now I don't know what to expect. Oh, isn't that something? So we can either skip two drop and then hope maybe we, we draw a land in time for this. Actually, I'm probably just going to play Sage Rosamond here. I was out of land, you're not. Because next turn we can go Gateway Sneak, and at worst we can play Guild Gate on turn four to draw a card. And we're going to Scry too, so we can actually set this up. Uh, get rid of you. And I'll actually keep this, because we can go land, land. And I think that's fine. It feels weird keeping a land on top. Oh, boy. What a time to be alive. Good game. You are way better than me. I don't know about all that. Let's not go crazy. But I appreciate you saying so. Come on, good games.
Uh, let's do no attacks. Hmm. Stop talking about the game. Talk about the memes. That's that's probably a better strategy. Yeah, I agree. One daddy like that bug. <laughs> I feel like you brought this on yourself. Just to be clear. I trade my two one that's cried for your three one, and you're gonna play the the the, the enchantment, aren't you? I'm so tired of this card. It's uncommon, no less. What does it do? It gives plus one, plus two in Vigilance. It's an enchantment, so it stays on there forever. You can play it as an instant, though, because it's got Flash. But if you play it on your main phase, it gets lifelink, too. Okay. Okay, having Slime Bond here is pretty nice. So let's play Guildgate. Make this guy unblockable. Yep, sure. Mike is just kind of a walking meme, except he doesn't walk much. I feel like there should be a fault in that, but I don't think I don't think I know what it is. Look, I, I also have an enchantment. Oh, it's a little Rammy. Hey, it's a little, little Rammy. Rammy. Little Rami Malik. It's from. You know what it's from. So if we attack here, they just block with their 0 3. That's unfortunate. We can keep it Brawl. Or we can just play this guy in the hopes that he gets bigger next turn. Let's do that. I say no attacks. No attacks? Not even with the 1 3? They got an 0 3. Yeah, is he unblockable? No, only if you play a gate. Oh. oh, wow, that's nice. That sure is something right there. That's a big boy. Oh, uh, this is actually amazing. Now it's a 5 5. Get to brawl. And we get to be unblockable here. Yep, that turned out pretty okay. Rope, rope. I have two cards in hand. One, I'm sure, is Ethereal Absolution. So they can't play it now, which is good. We can keep our Mystic. All right, don't care about that. That's fine. Although this does... No, okay. That doesn't get a guy back from your graveyard. It just lets you... Uh, this Death Touch guy is super obnoxious, and I also... Yep. We need one more mana to... No, two more mana to give this guy flight. Hmm. I guess we can just pass. We can pump this guy. We have things to do. But I kind of want to keep up Mystic here. We can also just play... Actually... Actually, playing this... Makes both of these significantly worse, right? Yep. Can I not... Next to attackers? Oh, I see. It's too late now. Now I feel like you don't do it. Now I don't do it, right. Now we're just going to do it next turn. It's fine. They're going to have six mana. They're going to play their Ethereal Absolution. And... Oh, well, now we have to wait a turn again. Dang it. We're just going to draw Lizrog. You ready? Lizrog off the top. It's fine, I guess. No Lizrog for you. So we have a 2-1 and 0-2 and an 0-3. I think this is an all-attack turn. If they have an answer for that, I feel like they would have killed something sooner. They could just have final payment, though. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Sure, whatever you block is... Like, it's just a trade for whatever. Oh, they just block with Watchdog, too, and then they make this guy uh, indestructible? Sure. But now they have no cards in hand. And this is also seven in the air in future turns, so. This, actually this block's here. Yeah, all right. Block here, block here, block here. You take one, we draw a card, okay. Yeah, 
There we go. They figured it out. Okay, so you're trading with the ram instead. That's actually better for our deck, surprisingly. Um, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I think that still turned out fine. They still have a 1-3 and a 1-4, and we have a 3-3 three, three flyer. We have Frilled Mystic for any future turns. If we hit a land, we can play Rubble Slinger and Frilled Mystic. That dog sacrificed itself to save this cat. That is correct. I'm sorry, what's happening now? I guess it has Vigilance, so you either block here or you give it Death Touch. <laughs> that was delayed, so it was like... And then nothing happened after. All right, well. Access denied. Yeah, feel free to post the link, buddy. Uh, let's go damage. And we have, yeah, that's fine. I'm in a position where I just feel like we don't have any reason to not keep this up. Don't demonetize me. Okay, I'm going to watch that in a bit. What is this? On the 6-6? Six, six? I mean, sure, that's fine. I mean, this guy's not attacking. You have a 1-4 with death touch, so... Wow, we're so close. I'm pretty sure that just wins the game, right? Um, I haven't done the math, but... No, not on the spot. So we have one of our guys as a defender, so... Yeah, that's true, I guess. I feel like in spirit, though, it kind of does, right? I just don't want to play any of these five drops. We're just under no pressure, so... But I guess, like, what could they draw to really, like, blow us out here? Let's just not find out and just keep killing them with three three. Yeah, fire. I agree. I mean, I don't feel like we're. They have to have this. May, this makes it so they have to have actually two back to back really strong plays against us. And if they don't have one, then we're just fine. They're in there with you. Yeah, like they're dead in three turns. They have three cards in hand. They haven't played any of them. This is very strange. Okay, there's one of them. Our hand is pretty stacked as well. I don't, I don't know why we haven't hit an eighth land by this point, but... You know, here we are. Lizrog's great because you can eat the counters off this guy. That's why I was like, okay, it's fine. Like, we have other cards that synergize with the counters on this guy, so I'm not really... It's not even really dead. Forbidden spirit. That's fine. Does it block our flyer? No? Don't care. <laughs> Does it kill our flyer? No? Still good. Alright. Give me a land. Alright. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're at 18? Good lord. See, now I think this is probably going to close out the game. That I'm going to counter. That'll do, pig. Let's take action. Now we can slam our big boy for the win. I like that this cost two is just going to sit here forever, I guess. Michael, cost two, okay? It's what's still the, there. What's the cost two for? It was for when this guy was here and I had to attack. Oh. But now it's just there forever. Just slam our big boy. 
Well, I am, but this guy gets unblockable now. Nope, that's the wrong, wrong big boy. Come on, just let it happen. Don't, don't concede. Just give me this moment. They're not going to do it. They always concede. The cost two prompt hangs out forever. We always have to, we have to. What? Oh, all right. Now it just, it just went away now, I guess. Oh, the first strike guy alone took him out. Oh, oh true. that's unfortunate. Do we see anything that we really care about? They did have a double Sentinel's Mark, and they had uh, Sky Tether, so Exposed could actually be pretty good here. Typically, actually, Fairy Duelist is great because they have the um, the three ones that become one ones of the Duelist, or the one two uh, Death Touch Death Touch Boy. So, hmm. this deck actually ended up being pretty decent. I'll take one Steeple Creeper out, I guess. Oh, steeple creeper, keep on rolling. Go on. There's nothing more to say. There's always more to say. I'll say it, I'll say it, I'll say it. This seems fine. Turn two, this guy. Turn three, this guy. Turn four, this guy. Turn five. Oh, this guy's going to be great with this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'd probably just block here, actually, if they want to spend their turn pumping and trading with my two drop. Oh, they don't get the choice, so now they just get to sit home. Can you do any bad mana remotes? No, unfortunately. Not unfortunately, that's probably for the best. I say unfortunately in the sense that, like, I had to answer your question with a sad no. Well, that was sad. They killed our guy that was going to ramp us to raise and raise four runners. You okay? Are you falling asleep? Every day. Well, that is correct. It was my baby that crushed you in our five-color challenge battle? What does that even mean? We have a baby together? Yeah, you don't play child support. It's messed up. It is a little messed up. I feel bad about it. Can we have a card I can play? Oh, God. All our six drops in hand are pretty insane, actually. We just can't do anything with them, unfortunately. Like, if I can, if I hit three lands in a row, I'd be totally fine. I go six drop, six drop, eight drop. Nope, that is really not great here, unfortunately. Needs more gates. You are correct. I actually don't want to attack with either of these guys, to be quite honest. Like, one one turn and both of these are going to just blow out their whole board. You have a baby that crushed Toro? Oh, is David Toro? Wow, I had no idea. I had no idea. Uh, isn't everyone a fan of Jeff Goldblum? <laughs> oh man, for those on YouTube, this is what's... Jeff Goldblum likes when fans call him daddy. You're opening up a Pandora's box, Jeff. Does that look like a man who's afraid of the contents? No, Jeff Goldblum. Okay. No. Just infinite three one vampires with lifelink. There it is. Oh wow. Woof.
Yeah, this is probably the game, right? They have to draw another one, so they're likely only going to just replay one because they didn't have anything to do last turn that was better. Do you have a one mana thing? Is there a one mana trick? Oh, they didn't block. They they retracted their block. And next turn we just get the biogenic upgrade on all three of these guys, putting two counters on each of them, which means they all survive. Oh god. If we hit another land, we can actually upgrade and Titanic. Oh dang it. I guess somebody could double block, but then you'd almost die. Woo! This deck was pretty okay. Pretty okay. I'm going to open this link, Billy, and I'll check this out. Have you ever considered what it would be like to live in a world where it is abnormal to eat with anything but your feet? I mean, have you seriously considered it, by the way? Happy birthday, Mike. If you guys have not done so, please be sure to wish Mike a happy birthday please don't. before the it end of the It's not my birthday. Please stop it. <laughs> Let's claim our prizes and open these six packs. Pretty good. Went from 0-2 to... We started at the bottom. Now we now we up here. Now you're here. Woo! Is that worth a lot? Chef's kiss? Well, it's worth a mythic. It's a mythic planeswalker. Okay. Like, nothing's worth a lot. There's no... Tr oh, there's, there's no... no yeah. yeah, there's no, like... Uh, there's no system on here. Wow. Back-to-back -back mythics. Seems good. That's not a good mythic, though, right? I don't know how I feel about it. I bet someone's gonna break it. It says draw seven on there. I like this one a lot, actually. Draw three for five. It's like just Jace's Ingenuity, which is apparently just a rare now all the time. Three Mythics out of four packs? Uh, Captive Audience is actually one of my favorite cards in the set. You know what this card does? Yeah, it's a cool card. It's super sweet. Happy birthday, Mike. In the chat, it's your birthday. Six Foresight card's fine. Can we get four, can we get four out, of five, out of six Mythics? A rare? Any rare I want? Sounds good. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Links are in the description below. And if you're looking for some super soft, super comfortable micromodal underwear, onesies, socks, tees, what have you, check out meundies.com slash franklaporeo. You'll get 15% off, along with free shipping and free returns. If you need that stuff anyway, check out the link. It helps me out. I get a kickback. You get a discount. It's a great deal. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later. And, uh... That's all I got. That's what daddy likes. That's what daddy likes. <laughs>